The Mi Band 9 Pro has three things that make it such an easy wearable to recommend. One, it has nearly everything the average person would need in a smart band. Great quality health and sleep monitoring, plenty of workout modes, helpful features like gesture controls and a handy camera remote, mind-blowing battery life, which we'll get to later, and the topper, built-in GPS tracking right in the device. Two, it is excellent value. In the UK, the Mi Band 9 Pro costs $62.99, which for the overall package I feel is a great deal, and in some regions you might be able to get it even cheaper. 3. The 9 Pro radiates quality, which for the price makes it even more impressive. Everything from the design, the fantastic display, the strap system, the build quality, UI design, all feel refined and of high caliber. A good example of this is the display. It's a 1.74 inch AMOLED running at 60 hertz. The blacks look jet dark and the colors really pop out of the screen, but this year brightness goes from 600 nits on the Mi Band 8 Pro to a whopping 1,200 nits on the 9 Pro. Glancing at your wrist outside under full sunlight is now a complete non-issue. In fact, you should definitely keep the auto brightness on because at home, this display is almost blinding when it enters an indoor environment. The display also has a slight curve around the edges of the screen. It's a subtle design choice that creates a smoother touch experience for your finger between the bezel and the display and feels physically nicer than the previous flatter displays of the past. But in addition to the display, what really caught my eye this year were the watch faces. The last Mi Band Pro device I used was the 7 Pro. And one thing I complained about in that review was the lack of stylish watch faces. But that has clearly been addressed since, with a library of watch faces that look more cultivated, refined and stylish. There are still fun faces to choose from, but they look fresh and are executed with a modern and polished arrangement. You can still get the more classic Xiaomi workout faces, which always look decent, and they are packed with all the info a fitness enthusiast might need. But now, the smart band feels more adaptable. I would happily wear this out to dinner or something without feeling that it's an eyesore. And that is also down to the design. I'm going to be accused of lazy journalism now, but this gives me Apple Watch vibes, and it's not a bad thing. This isn't some shameless copy. There are certain nods to the number selling watch in the world, which makes sense. Build quality is really good. This year we have a metal frame, aluminium alloy with a smooth outer appearance. The shape is very flattering. It comes in three colors, rose gold, obsidian black, and the one I have here, moonlight silver. If I had my time again, I would go for the black version because of how the screen would blend into the bezels better. The silver color, although it looks decent on camera, I feel in reality makes the bezels appear slightly thicker in person. We also have a very easy to use strap system on the 9 Pro. Simple clicks in and out make inserting and removing the bands a breeze. Xiaomi offers a range of straps from premium leather, a cool magnetic strap that comes in khaki, and berry red, as well as the one I'm going to call the all-rounder strap because it's for workouts, but it's actually quite nice to wear out too. It's soft in the skin, is sweat resistant, and suited for all weather conditions. So I want to talk about the health health sensors on the 9 Pro, which have some upgrades this year, but I also want to talk about what options you have in how and when the band is monitoring all of your vitals, which is both interesting, advanced, and hidden. And this will also lead to a discussion about battery life, which is another interesting topic. And if you have made it this far in the video, a sub to the channel would be terrific. Xiaomi's marketing team have come up with this cool sentence to promote their new AFA chip that monitors heart rate and blood oxygen levels. This apparently allows for a 15% increase in accuracy. And beat for beat, the heart rate sensor seemed very precise during random tests throughout the day, as well as during workouts and during sleep, where it pretty much matched up exactly the same to my Apple Watch beat for beat in both 
real-time readouts and overall averages during those extended sleep and workout sessions. The SpO2 blood oxygen monitor I am a little less sure about. Both the Mi Band and Apple Watch reported a 99% score and then both dropped me all the way down to 94% within minutes, which is either wrong or I am seriously not a healthy person. Naturally, there are a host of reasons why this could be. Sleep monitoring also seemed fairly accurate and in line with my bed and wake up times. The quality of sleep, sleep stages and breathing rate however did differ compared to my Apple Watch although based on how I felt in the morning I would tend to lean towards supporting the results on the Mi Band. Now when you take the Mi Band 9 out of the box all of its advanced health monitoring features are pretty much turned off for all day monitoring as well as a host of other health alert features and other general smart features which for me kind of misses the point. Naturally, they're doing this to save battery and assume that the average consumer won't notice nor care and will only dive into health feature settings when they are simply curious or use them automatically during workouts. However, I wanted all day monitoring for everything. So I dived into the settings and toggled every possible button I could find, including all day stress monitoring, which I'm sure might be a bit high right now for some of you. I'm not sure why that would be, but if you did have the Mi Band 9's breathing feature to calm you down, you might feel better. Subscribe. I also turned on the always on display to be constantly on, which Xiaomi said would cut the battery life by 50%, but whatever. I also toggled on other features like raise to wake, breathing score, and auto detect workout, which for those of you wondering, did work well for running and walking and can also detect other workouts, although I will confess I didn't try them. And what does this all mean for battery life? Well, for me, just over one week of usage without taking it off and under full load, I think that's pretty good. Now, I will say that is without putting in everyday workouts for an hour. It was just on the wrist, chilling, doing its thing, recording sleep data, sending notifications from my phone and syncing with the Mi Fitness app, but it was with the always on display on and raise to wake on. Xiaomi says if you leave the settings on as they are intended, you can get 21 days of battery life, but really what's the point? I'd rather get everything I can out of this watch for a week and then charge it for an hour. Naturally, if you're going to start using the GPS every other day, then you're probably Probably looking at more like four days, but again, I still think that's good. For fitness enthusiasts, you get over 150 plus workout modes, of which some have serious and advanced tracking like running, cycling, and swimming, where you will get specific readouts and metrics from that exact workout, including swim stroke, swim speed, or cadence of your foot stride when running, and so on. What is cool is for running, there is an entire workout program available that will set you up on a specific workout plan depending on your goals, which you can follow along with, and there are plenty of options for you to choose from. But the most important bit of hardware here is that built-in GPS, which means you can leave your phone at home during workouts. Now, this is nothing new. GPS has been on the Mi Band Pro series for years now, but Xiaomi has said that there have been some improvements this year with up to 33% better positioning. I was very satisfied with the mapping after my runs and walks, and what I did notice compared to previous bands is that it tended to get a quicker lock onto GPS outside. The Mi Fitness app is decent enough. I'm not going to go into too much depth, but you can view detailed health and workout stats there, as well as go into the settings and move things about a bit more easier than you can on the band itself. And there seem to be plenty of updates coming through the app for the Mi Band 9 Pro, which is encouraging. In terms of all the other built-in smart features, naturally you have things like calendar, focus modes, tasks, remote camera control, and and music controls which work well. We have gesture support this year which you can customize to open a feature of your choice and they do work well, but I didn't really get into the habit of using them. There is a new haptic motor to vibrate your wrist, but I am so spoiled by the Apple Watch's haptics that this one on the Mi Band felt cheap. Having said that, it is still very strong and you won't miss 
any notifications. And talking of notifications, we still do not have the option to reply to any messages, nor from what I could see, answer any calls. And this is really the one thing this band is missing. For me, I couldn't actually care less, but to really take this band to the next level, I think it does need a slightly more advanced OS capability. All notifications did come in on time and mirrored my smartphone very well. A few extra things that I haven't gone over, there is an AI assistant built in, but I have the Chinese version of this watch because I wanted to get my hands on it early. It does understand English, but can't really do anything with it. And I believe this feature will not be available on the international version. Same with NFC payments. It does have it, but it will not be available on international versions. There is also women's cycle tracking that can be activated to all day monitor mode. The 9 Pro is also water resistant up to 50 meters, but Xiaomi recommends that you don't use it in the shower or in steam rooms, although I have completely ignored that. So let me know your thoughts on the 9 Pro down in the comments and hit that like button because it would really help me out as well as the subscribe button for more reviews and tech videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.